Namaste. You're right. The mental energy or the chitta follows the life force. Yeah. It goes where the prana goes. And in Hatha Yoga, these uh, techniques of energy channeling, yeah, they're known as mudras. Yeah. But in Hatha Yoga, yeah, most of the mudras require plenty of years of preparation. Yeah. But this is what I realized, and this comes from my personal practice. Yeah. The Nadi Shodhana, the alternate nostril breathing, yeah, is a mudra yeah, so beneficial for all of us. Yes, it's safe for general practice. Yeah. Um, there's no contraindication because you can adapt. Yeah. You may do the retention just as long as your lungs can sustain. Yeah, two, three seconds, four seconds, and depending on how you feel for that particular session. Yeah. And it's so good for not just the energetic anatomy, but also for, you know, relaxing the mind, yeah, and then attaining focus and uh, heightened our sensitivities. All right. So if you did this with me, yeah, this is a normal technique, you know, right thumb blocks the right nostril, yeah, and then place the left hand here on top and you know, just rest it on your... Uh, right rib cage, yeah, and inspire the breath in through the left, blocking left, exhale right. All right, now inhale right, and then feel the hand. Exhale left, inhale left, feel the hand. Exhale right. Let's do a couple more. Inhale right. Block. Exhale left. Inhale left. Block. Exhale right. You notice? Yeah. If you inhale through that left side, yeah, the right side of your lungs expand. Yeah. And if you exhale that side after that uh, retention, yeah, the side of you relaxes. Yeah. Because that's how the energy flows. Yeah. You might think, your mind might think, yeah, oh, since I'm inhaling through my right or my left, this side will open because it's the open side now. In the Nadi Shodana, since you're creating yeah, a gentle construction there, yeah, the energy yeah, you inspire yeah, through the left will be collected by the right channel because of that narrowing of the pathway. Yeah, it's science. Yeah? When, yeah, for example, you're sipping through a straw, yeah, the more you constrict it, the more you filter, yeah, and then you can direct yeah, the the flow of the liquid, yeah, depending on yeah, the the adjustment. Yeah, so same thing happens in the body. So if you inhale through this left side, since you're creating a suction involuntarily, organically, naturally, yeah, the sensation will be drawn through that part. Yeah, that yeah, narrowing of the pathway. Therefore, you're gonna feel this rise. Yeah, the energy goes in. Um, I'd say opposite direction, crisscrossing. All right. So the left side yeah, is associated with, yeah, that's the na, uh, Ida, the Ida Nadi, the parasy parasympathetic nervous system. Yeah? And then the Ida is connected, or this left side of the nostril is connected to the right hemisphere of the brain. And the right hemisphere of the brain regulates the left side of the body. And then opposite, yeah, the left hemisphere of the brain regulates the right side of the body. Yeah. Therefore, in the Nadi Shodhana, actually, as you inspire through the left, you direct yeah, the fire, the force inside to the right. Therefore, when you exhale that side, you release the blockages of that side. 
because they're collecting yeah, the blockages, the energetic forces there yeah, to gather to the right. And then you exhale the breath out. And at the same time, if you're doing the retention, yeah, you uh, develop yeah, the, the strength yeah, and the capacity of that side of your body. Yeah, because the pranayama, yeah, the breathing exercise, yeah, yeah, it's just not uh, a simple breathing technique of regulating the flow of the breath. We're actually yeah, training our system yeah, to store more energy out of the breath. Yeah, and that's the ego of pranayama, yeah, to increase our capacity. Yeah, and therefore, we retain the breath. Yeah, but in the Nadi Shodanam, you may just do the alternate muscle breathing yeah, without the retention or short retention, yeah, just to balance, yeah, to create that um, balance and symmetry yeah, energetically, mentally, spiritually, yeah, between your sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. And this leads, of course, to the relaxation of your vital function. Yeah, it increases, uh, it, it promotes the coherence or the balance of your cardiorespiratory system. It slows down the heart rate, yeah, it calms the brain, and it's good for stress relief. Yeah, at the same time, it's a mudra yeah, because we are channeling the energy to specific points of the body too. Well, yes, yeah, so when you practice, yeah, knowing that there's this pattern of the energy, now... Yeah, you can encourage your mental energy, yeah, to flow to that inherent you know, nature or movement of your vital force, the prana. Yeah, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good.